Well, Shane Bourne has one of Australia's most recognised faces. It's his own. <laughs> and the good news is that it's here tonight and it's attached to a body. So please welcome them both, Shane Bourne. <laughs> please sit down. Shane, very nice to have you here. A pleasure to be here, Thank Sean. you very much. Yes, make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Now, Shane, I, uh, I understand you're thinking of buying a new car. Yeah, funny you should mention it, Sean. Um, you know that, um, that thing when you buy a new car, mm. the best thing about it is the smell. Mm -hmm. You know that new car, the old new car smell? That's the way you tell yeah. it's actually a new, new car because a second-hand car doesn't have that... Uh, that smell. That's what I'm into. I'm into that new car smell. That's the thing that's turning me on. But it's a little bit expensive. Right. <laughs> so I thought, OK, what about if I invent an air freshener mm -hmm. with the new car scent? Buy a second-hand car, spray it on, right. drive it along in the old second-hand car with the new car feeling at half the price. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. And look, you could, um, you could even use it on your bike. It doesn't have to be the car. On your push bike, give it a bit of a spray. Um, on the train, where you're sitting, give that a bit of a spray, dab it behind the ears, walk to work, new well, car feel. I'm not sure I'm with you because you would still know from your car, from the, from the, uh, from the odometer, that it had done a number of kilometres. So you, you'd be constantly reminded of the fact that it wasn't a new car, in spite of the smell. <laughs> and, uh, and, and also, when you buy a car, you receive a lot of documents from this. It's required by law that you are, you are told it's a second-hand car. You fill out a form for that. It says it on the top. Yeah. And I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have thought it would, was humanly possible to delude yourself to that extent. <laughs> uh, particularly on a bicycle or a tram. And anyway, look, these sorts of chemicals are, are very, I would have thought, dangerous. And you shouldn't be messing around with them. You haven't, you haven't got a chemist's degree. You're not an industrial scientist. So <laughs> I'd, stick with, I'd stick with your strength, which is stand-up comedy. You know, don't, don't, don't try it. Don't try the, uh, don't try yeah. the spray. Don't try the don't, no, industrial no, chemist no, stuff. I'll stick with the, uh, okay. the stand-up. Now, um, <laughs> you've also been to the dentist. Um, ah, uh, anything serious? Yeah, and I went to the dentist, yeah. uh, sitting in the chair. Yeah. Uh, you was know, was it just a check-up? Yeah, 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 just okay. a chair, sitting in the chair. And you know when they do that thing where they, they get the little mirror and they, they pop the oh, little a, mirror in the mouth? That's a Braden, Braden mirror. It's a what? A Braden mirror. Oh, OK. Braden OK, mirror. so you're sitting in the chair. It was invented by... Uh, Invented by a Sir Anthony Braden in the early part of the 19th century. <laughs> Something for the folks at home. Oh, terrific. That's okay. all right. So he's gone. In the, in the chair there, and at the dentist, mm -hmm. and um, he's popped the mirror in the Braden, mouth. Braden mirror. Popped the Braden. Mirror. <laughs> Braden mirror. Oh, the Braden mirror? Yeah. In the mouth, and um, I thought, gee, what about this? I thought, if I was a vampire, my dentist wouldn't be able to treat me because the mirror wouldn't cast a reflection in my mouth. <laughs> you're a vampire. Well, you're not a, va you're not a vampire. You're not a vampire, are you? They're fictional. Well, no, I'm not a vampire. Well, I bet I bet if, yeah, you, know, no, if you were a vampire, you no, know. but I mean, if you were, I mean, it's impossible. So why would you, why would you think that? <laughs> it's, it's, it, it, it's a kind of joke, really. It's a bit of a gag. Oh, it's a joke. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. I didn't I'm know. with you, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. I'm with you. I, I, I didn't know you were. advised. I just thought, Do you want... gee, these are a bit dull. But... Oh! <laughs> no, I, no, I, no, I understand. No, you I, I can do a serious no, interview okay. straight. Shoot, yeah, shoot. Yeah, yeah, sure. You, you okay. want me to do a serious no, I interview? I understand, I understand what's happening. OK, well, um, look, I'll do a straight interview, cos um, yeah, I can sure. do that. Just yeah. ask me um, anything okay. just about me. OK, OK, about you. So how, how are you and your wife going? <laughs> Oh, uh, well, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> my wife is, uh, my wife has just left me, uh, Sean. <laughs> yeah, and why did she leave you, Shane? <laughs> but, uh, no, no, it's, uh, it's a true story. Yeah, See, it's true, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, straight. Uh, Boy, why did your wife leave you, Shane? <laughs> No, it's, I'm, I'm serious. Yeah, right, yeah, so. I know. <laughs> she, uh, she left me because... Yeah. She's fallen in love with her. Another man. Dear <laughs> 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 Shane Bourne. <laughs> Falling in love with another man. It's funny because it's true, isn't it? <laughs> Shane Ball, ladies and gentlemen. Very funny. Good stuff. Good stuff. Actually, um...
Actually, Shane, um, before you go, I, I want, would you like to sing a little song? Uh, on the bit, do a bit of guitar? Thanks uh, a lot. That'd be, uh, that'd be super. Uh, I don't know. Very fun. <laughs> Good songs. Oh, dude. <laughs> God. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shane Bourne there. Uh. Technically in breach of his contract. <laughs> Thanks, Shane.